How's it going, guys? So here's another video reaction of a fan's honest opinion on Justice League. I've seen it four times, five, four times, and let's hear him out. Hey guys, this video is not going to be, you know, the usual type of video. It's not like a video essay or anything like that. I'm just going to be sharing my thoughts here because um, I recently watched Justice League, the 2017 film directed by Zack Snyder and Joss Whedon. Um, I say Joss Whedon because, honestly, he only had like a writing credit, but he did a fair amount of shooting, directing. So I, I saw the movie, and uh, as an honest fan, you know, from the beginning, I wanted Justice League to be good. Yep. I had this kind of feeling that it wasn't going to be good, but I always, like, you know, held on to hope because, I mean, I didn't like um, Batman v Superman, and I thought Man of Steel was okay. I just thought it was like, oh, okay, you know. I, I mean, I respect it. Fair enough. It's, uh, Zack Snyder's vision. But I, I loved Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was good. It's a little overrated, but it is a, it is a good movie. So I was excited to see Justice League. And uh, it, it's, a, it's a bit of a mess of a movie, honestly. Listen, the thing that it did really well is that it united the League. And their interactions were great to watch. But um, other than that, I mean, the plot, the plot was not good, you know. And the movie's just played with reshoots. And I don't blame Joss Whedon. I, I blame Warner Brothers, even though most of it was Zack Snyder's movie. 30 minutes must be missing from Zack Snyder's movie. Yeah. Steppenwolf is a terrible villain, and the thing is that in Zack Snyder's cut, supposedly he had a backstory. Like, he did just serve Darkseid because he because he wanted to serve Darkseid. Like, in the movie, he says, oh, for Darkseid, at some point, and it's like, okay, all right. But then, you know, in supposedly in Zack Snyder's cut, he just conquered worlds for Darkseid because he was kind of working his way to freedom or something like that and uh, it kind of sucks that that was cut there's a lot of scenes that were cut you can even see the trailers and there's like a bunch of stuff that was cut i mean i i, I personally think batman v superman is a better movie than justice league i actually do i feel it's more cohesive wow. i feel wow. like tonally it's better and i think that anyone that says that batman v superman is a worse movie than justice league needs to re-watch it because at least in I batman agree. v superman it's still tonally consistent mm -hmm. and it has a lack of comedy but you know comedy doesn't make a movie good just like the lack of comedy also doesn't make a movie good necessarily you know thor ragnarok is a fantastic movie save for its mediocre villain but you know it had a lot of comedy but that doesn't mean the movie's you know bad because it had a lot of comedy we have um, man of steel the movie was all right but it wasn't like terrible because it had no comedy you know um its tone is kind of kept very grounded but again i want it just to be good it um as a fan of, you know, DC Comics since I was little, I mean, my first two comic books were Superman and Batman comic books given to me by my dad, and I, then after that I grew up with uh, the Just League shows, with uh, Just League and uh, Just League Unlimited. And after that I bought, like, all the DC animated movies up until Flashpoint. Like, it started with Superman Doomsday, and I've always wanted to see, you know, Superman portrayed right. The entire finale was shot by Joss Whedon. So if you if you actually like that Superman at the end like I did, that's Joss Whedon. Also, Joss Whedon didn't do a terrible job. Like in the beginning of the movie, he shot the entire scene where Batman was fighting the Parademon. I thought that was great. Um, right up until like we meet Barry Allen, whose uh, scene is just plagued with expository detail. The movie just is fine. And then after that, it goes downhill for me. I thought Barry Allen was. Not good. Ezra Miller did not do a good job as Barry Allen. Like he, Ezra Miller did a good job with what he was given, but the writing for Barry Allen is awful. And I've heard people say that, "What are you talking about? This is exactly like Barry from the comics." I like no, it's Barry not. Allen. It's not. What are you reading? I mean, Barry Allen can be a bit of a goofball, but at points, like he can get serious, you know, and he's confident. He can be awkward, but it's usually just in weird situations, you know. If it's a romantic situation, he's always like flustered, but usually he's confident. And uh, in Justice League, That's we get like opinion, a fifteen-year-old in a man's body. The best like part it doesn't of the movie. He was the best suit character. the character at all. It feels like they were trying to aim for Spider-Man. It feels more like Spider-Man, but even Spider-Man's funny. Flash was not funny in this movie, and if you actually laughed at a Flash joke. <laughs> I don't know, man. That brunch joke really killed me. Like, it really, it just killed the movie. Like, after that brunch joke, um, I, I was, uh, I was really disappointed. And you could also really see the reshoots in Joss Whedon's cut. Um, there's a scene with Aquaman and Bruce Wayne kind of talking, and uh, it's there's a clip on YouTube of it. And 
in the comments, there's people that say, oh, this isn't a reshoot. Remember, they were shot on location. This was shot on location. Like, what are you talking about? This is not a reshoot. It's just, it just looks like that. It's a reshoot, you know. That's what I call a fanatic. Like, it's obviously a reshoot. And there were some reshoots that kind of helped the movie, and there were some that just didn't really work. I think that Superman returning at the end and even actually saving people for once awesome. at the end of Justice League was great. I thought it was good. I thought his introduction was really cheesy, but that's Superman to me. I mean, when he says, uh, you know, I believe in truth, but I also believe in justice or something like that. And I thought that was really corny, but it reminded me of the Justice League cartoons. That's and Superman. I'm like, yeah, that's my Superman. And he was still serious in the movie, but he says some corny things. But that's Superman, you know, at least to me. That's always been Superman, like the like the Boy Scout kind of character. Um, but he's, he has been serious and he has been dark in the past, obviously. He's got like a bunch of issues that he's been like super dark. But um, I, I always wanted to see that positive side of Superman that obviously the TV shows always portray. And that was great to see. I actually thought Ben Affleck was pretty bad. I mean, as Batman, he can do a good job when he's given good material. But the material he was given was not great. We were supposed to get a lot of Flash backstory and Cyborg backstory and a little more Aquaman and Wonder Woman, but it was cut. I kind of the prefer Batman play. and BBS a lot. Late with exposition, and it's terrible. The plot is terrible also. Batman finds out about the mother boxes in the dumbest way possible, and it's full of all these coincidences. Like, oh, randomly, three mother boxes appear in, like, a mural where Aquaman is? Like, come on, movie. Um, it's just bad. Superman's return is really just not great at all, either. It's, um... I, I don't know, man. It, just, it was scene, really, I, I mean, it was really disappointing because it just didn't feel grandiose. It just felt kind of, oh, he's back. No black suit either. That was also very disappointing. The best part of the movie had to be either the very beginning, the very end. And by very beginning, I mean, like, right up until the end of the Wonder Woman scene where she's uh, beating up the criminals. And by the very end, I mean, when they defeat Steppenwolf, like, that very end. When uh, Clark is talking to Bruce and Clark is like, hey, how'd you get the house back? And he's like, oh, I bought the bank. Like, that was great. Like, that was good, you know? Like, that is good. And that's just, that's the Justice League I want to see. Like, interacting, not being so goddamn serious all the time. But then again, not breaking the serious tone and making, like, a terrible joke. But what Justice League does is that every single line that Flash says is a joke. Every single line. I'm not even joking. Like, when, when he leaves the prison talking to his dad, every single line that Barry says is a joke. Can I keep this battering? Stop right there, I'm in. I hate brunch. What's your superpowers again? Is this a bad time to mention my high blood pressure or, or sugar pressure? Or something? It's so dumb. Like, what is this? Like, it was awful. Uh, yeah, I do competitive ice dances. That feels like an oversimplification. Stop right there. I think it was, he was great I mean, as Flash. <laughs> He's a kid, pretty much. He's a kid. Here's the thing. Um, see, I'm afraid of bugs. Guns. He was great. He was great. I, I never want to see that Flash again. And if Flashpoint does come out, I might not see it because this movie actually really disappointed me. And I think Flashpoint is going to have a serious pieces. tone because it I love serious. Comics. I'm pretty Here's sure. Clock. Oof, that's exciting. You know, I mean, the comics, DC Comics is killing it right now. It's killing it. It really is. Marvel Comics is awful right now. And DC Comics is doing a fantastic job. But in the movies, it's like, what are you doing? You know? It's a mess. And again, I blame Warner Brothers because they've cut it's so much from this movie. They've really, honestly, just yeah. destroyed this movie. Zack Snyder is not my favorite director, but he has a tone and he has a vision. And he put it out there in Batman v Superman, and it was okay. You know? The movie wasn't great, but the vision is there. And Justice League, its tonal changes absolutely kill it. It kills the movie. It honestly does. Flash actually does nothing in the Aquaman does nothing in the movie. There's no scene that I'm like, yeah, Aquaman, I agree Aquaman. was definitely yes, needed for this. I don't know. He Flash was new. definitely needed for this. The only character that was honestly really needed was Cyborg. Cyborg. And uh, Cyborg was a pretty good character. Like, right at the end, you needed Cyborg, you needed Superman. Those were the only two characters. And Batman and Wonder Woman Team Night the League. 
But other than those two little scenes in the movie, like Flash okay. saving people and Aquaman, you know, stopping the water from overflowing and killing all his friends, they weren't needed in the movie. And it's like, why are they there? It's almost like the Suicide Squad problem. Like, there's so many characters, but were they really necessary? Like, they're there just to do one thing. They literally cut out 45 minutes of this film. Because 45 as fans minutes. of these characters, they can do so much more. Damn, WB. They could have taken out Steppenwolf on their own, to be honest. And and Superman comes out like this, just, whoa, and he just destroys Steppenwolf. And it's like, why was the League even needed? Couldn't they just have revived Superman and been like, Superman, we need you. Oh, okay. And he stops the whole problem himself. And it makes, and honestly, even though Superman is freaking fantastic in this movie, it, he makes the League look incompetent. I really, I really prefer Batman v Superman in this movie. <laughs> I really do. Um... And that movie's not great. I mean, I hate on it, but it's just me being tough on it because I want the next movie to be better. And Justice League was not better. It was bad. Will DC recover from this? I don't know, because Coco just beat it at the box office. And, uh, <laughs> you know, when Crisis on Earth X from the CW looks more competently made than Justice League, you know there's a problem. But yeah, blame Warner Brothers. Um, I think Warner it's Brothers. their fault. Don't blame Joss Whedon. He's a great director. I'm not even joking. Like, he's good. He's fine. It's not his fault. You know? It's studio interference. That's yeah. the biggest problem I agree. that Justice League has. I agree. And yeah, thanks for coming to the table, and I'll see you all next time. Alright, guys, so. What do you guys thought about this um, video? I agree in some points. I do not in other things, but everything's subjective here. He's not right. He's not wrong. That's just a, his opinion. You could have your own opinion about the film. I could have my own opinion the, about the film. He mentioned something about um, the the only scene that he, he that was fantastic throughout the whole film was um, Wonder Woman's intro, which I agree. It was really fantastic. I also enjoyed um, the team versus Superman. That was an incredible scene. And by far, that's the best scene from the entire movie for me. I really enjoyed that scene a lot. Flash running and then Superman seeing him running. That was really funny. I liked that scene a lot. It was so epic. Um, but like I said, everything's subjective. And comment down below your opinion about this film what you guys liked about it what you guys hated about it and seriously let's release the Zack Snyder or Joss Whedon extended cut because if it's out there I'm in the front seat I want to watch the extended cut and even though I hate when studios interfere in let's say they cut 45-50 minutes of a film it's just it, it doesn't work out it just did not work out great as how the director's plan, how the revision is. If a director makes a three hour movie, release a three hour movie, don't cut one hour of it because it's not gonna flow right, it's not gonna make sense. And like PBS, the theatrical version is gonna be all over the place. The extended cut for me, it made a lot of sense. Like seriously, you could have released 10 seconds of that scene to make it understandable. I enjoyed BVS a lot on the extended cut. That's the only film I will watch of the version. The theatrical, it's garbage. The extended cut, it for me, just makes a lot of sense. So if there is an extended cut for Justice League, Warner Brothers, everyone, let's share this video. Share everyone's video supporting this. Because we really want to see the extended cut. Because once if they do release it, it's going to make a lot of sense. I guarantee you. It's gonna make a lot of sense. So, I don't know. I, honestly, this let Marvel <laughs> direct DC movies. Seriously, let Disney direct DC movies because I don't know where Warner Bros. is going after here. There's no Batman film as for now. There's no Superman film as for now. The Flash that was supposed to be um, released early 2018, it's not even on the board. The only DC film for 2018, it's Aquaman, and it's on December. Literally a year. Meanwhile, Marvel releases three 
Marvel films. Fox releases three Fox films. DC one film. Um, I don't know. Seriously, um, Disney, please make an offer to Warner Brothers buy the characters because honestly, I'm pretty sure Disney will make better and a bet pretty much they will destroy their box office if they own DC also. Let up, let DC own all the superheroes because I'm pretty sure DC is gonna make a kick ass film out of the DC characters. So comment, like, subscribe, and share this video. And if you guys enjoy this, literally give it a like and just share it, guys. Come on. So I'll see you guys on the next video.